this is with us and um, let's now um, learn how to master one of the most famous uh, preludes and fugues by uh, the Bach circle is the little uh, C major prelude and fugue uh, BWV 553 it was formerly attributed to Johann Sebastian Bach but now it's thought that it was created by one of his students Johann Ludwig Krebs perhaps at any rate it's certainly a piece um, uh, worth uh, learning and actually all of the pieces from the collection is really really great um, eight preludes and fugues and I teach uh, all of them in depth with, with analysis in my Bach organ mastery course level one um, and um, now let's take a look at the first one C major prelude and fugue um, this tutorial was requested by Michelle who is my buy me a coffee uh, subscriber and she's learning this piece so hopefully she and others will find it helpful as well we'll be using uh, uh, her Martini Kerk sample set by Sonus Paradisi uh, so let's take a look at the registration uh, perhaps we could have on the Hofdwerk on the Hofdwerk we could have um, uh, for example 16 foot prestand octave Pedals, we would have uh, 16 prestant octave, 4, 8, 2 mixture, and basal. That would be quite plenty sound, quite, quite enough. All right, let's see how we are doing. Um, excellent. Yes, so let me now demonstrate all the steps. Okay, since this is a piece which is created from two parts, prelude and fugue, we could subdivide them and, um, and master them sep separately. And the first prelude um, has a four four meter, four parts in in each measure. So the first step would be to start and stop at the, at the beginning of each beat of each quarter note, like this. Notice that I'm playing every single note separately, a little bit with articulation, and 16s and also 8s and quarter notes in the right hand and in the pedals and in the left hand part, in the middle voices also. This will be very important in the fugue too. This is because it's early music composed before 19th century and in before 19th century romantic period. Uh, this was a common touch, articulated legato. Okay, Just try to keep your fingers on the keys at all times, not to lift them too much of the keyboard. Therefore, then you will be ready for the, to the next note. And the next step would be, uh, once you can do it from the beginning until the, the end, right? An uh, end of the prelude. Um, yeah, until the prelude. Uh, then st second step would be to start and play uh, every two beats, every half note, like this.
like this. Step three would be uh, to to start and stop at the beginning of every beat. Let's do it. Did I say every beat? No, I meant every measure. Every measure. Step number four would be to do two measures at a time and uh, probably start and stop at the beginning of each line. Now let's recap. The first step is every quarter note, second step every half note, third step every measure, fourth step every two measures, right? which is basically uh, one line. But only in this, in, this, um, in this page. So on the third pa second page and the third page there are three measures per page, per line. So maybe let's do step number five also doubling the fragment and do uh, entire system uh, from the beginning until the end without stopping <laughs> Step six would be uh, to do two lines at a time without stopping, like this. But only to, uh, go ahead go ahead to the next step when you're ready to do it three times in a row without mistakes the previous step that's very important okay uh, so the first step is quarter note second step half note third step is one measure fourth step is two measures fifth step is one line sixth step is two lines and now seventh step is entire page without stopping like this
okay i didn't play the repeat of course for practice purpose but for performance you have to repeat and do even two a second time of the second uh, second uh, half of the piece as well so that was step number seven uh, one page at a time now uh, step number eight would be two pages at a time like this Obviously, I made a mistake, so let's start from the second page. And the last step is number nine to play entire piece without stopping and only after you you're ready to do it three times in a row without mistakes stopping twice okay here we go let's try to do it once Okay, so nine, nine steps for the prelude and the fugue will be a little um, shorter, right? So uh, the fugue of obviously has to be mastered each voice separately and then two voice combinations, three voice combinations 
and only then all parts together right so we assume i assume that you can do the preliminary work and then you can do what i will be teaching next uh, the first step is to 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 play and stop every quarter note also the same meter so like this Alright, uh, step two would be stopping every half note, every basically twice per measure, like this. Step number three would be to start and stop every measure, like this. Step number four would be to start and stop every two measures. Very simple. Step number five would be to um, to stop every line because there are three lines per per uh, three measures per one line. So it will be step number five. Let's do it. Okay, let's recap. Step number one, one quarter note. Uh, step number two, half note. Step number three, um, entire measure. Step number four, two measures. Step number five, one line. Now step number six would be two lines at a time. All right, let's do it.
Step number seven would be to play entire page without stopping. So this is basically a little less than two pages. So we will have to stop twice per fugue in this case. Step number seven. And the last step would be to play entire piece without stopping, obviously. Step number eight. Once you can do entire few without stopping, three times in a row without mistakes, now let's do the last step, step number nine, playing entire prelude and fugue without stopping also, with repeats now. Uh, I will probably need to turn pages with blinking, so I set it up right now. And yes, it works. Okay, let's do it, the last step, entire piece without stopping, enjoy.
Uh -huh. That was not very easy to do with blinking. Uh -huh. Let's practice blinking and turning the page. Last time. Yeah, it's better. The connection is very important. All right, let's do it again. One more time.
Okay, this was uh, step number nine, basically. I did make one pedal mistake at the end, but I uh, have to practice even more. So I won't uh, disturb you any further with this. But um, it's coming and uh, it's not very far, this final result. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did. Um, hopefully uh, you will play it yourself and if you need fingering and pedaling uh, with my choices I have the score available in the description of this video the link will be available to the score and um, yeah hopefully you will succeed let me know how it goes and it, I hope it will be useful not only to Michelle but also to many other organists out there Thanks so much. This is with us. I'll catch you online in the next video or tutorial very soon.